Welcome back to the channel. Today we're fishing Monk Nash Beach down in South Wales. Um, we've come down here to have a go for the ray species basically. Um, there's a chance of all sorts really, um, card bass, a mixture. But I'm down here for the ray species. I'd like to get a blonde, I'd like to get a spotted. Um, also a thornback, never had a thornback from the shore. From what I've done with my research and found out, down here is really good for all four ray species. So you can get a, a slam here in a day, the Bristol Channel slam or four rays. Fishing two rods, the Century Eliminator T900s with casting specials on them. At the moment now, I'm just sorting out one of the baits. I'm not using sand eel yet, I want to let the tide drop a little bit. Got a coast card, a helicopter coming over, look. Heroes they are. They keep you super safe at sea. Got a lot of respect for the Coast Guard. But anyway, thought I'd show you this bait. This is a heron and squid wrap. Um, I don't want to be going for all my sand eel baits until this tide's dropped a bit. Um, I may be wrong, but I'm more confident when the tide's right down, nice and low. Probably like a half an hour, an hour before low, during low, and probably half an hour, an hour into the flood. Um, I don't know this beach at all, so. I'm just going off experience. What I'm going to do is chuck these out in the surf. Maybe pull a bass out, who knows. Maybe even a cod. I have got the black lug and squid with me and stuff. I've got a lot of baits with me today because I don't know what to bring. Um, I'm fishing with Lee Smith. Um, I went, on, went out on his boat last year, I think it was on the channel. Fishing for blonde rays, stuff like that. Um, it's Lefty, 940, or his new channel. I think it's um, boat fishing, Scotty, I know. But anyway. That's one of the baits I'm chucking out, right there. You can see the mess that comes out of them. You know me, I like my messy baits. It's not too big either, really. Um, what I'm gonna do is get this cast out now. What I'm using is the normal four foot polys that I use. I've tried to set it up with the sun to my right hand side. My last video was a little bit dark because I had it facing the sun. It's just because I haven't done much videoing lately. Let's get this clipped on and cast out. I'm still fishing away. Um, I've had nothing at all yet, not even a bite. What I thought I'd do, show you the poly rig quickly. Um, the bait I'm using on there is a double sand eel in squid. A uh, little wrap, nice and neat, packed with scent. Seven ounce grippers, uh, the ones that you see me make on the channel. The pulley rig, if I step back, is around four and a half foot long maybe, something like that. And it's just your conventional pulley rig. I do make them on the channel. A nice long pulley. Um, this is ready to be clipped on and cast out. On the top, you've got the Dynaform. Uh, it's from Trident, that is. It's a, basically a poly rig part, and you can also use it for running ledgers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reel this in, unclip the other rig, and clip this straight on. I've got a Trident Tackle Thermalink on the end of my shock leader, so I can just clip it straight on, cast straight back out. So I'm not, I'm not going dead timing out of the water, if you know what I mean. I'm constantly fishing. watching the rods because you just never know. Um, we've, come, we've come to low tide now, um, it's around half five. I'd say now is the time if you're going to get rays, um, any of the blondes, spotted, thorny, small eyes, anything like that. So I'm going to start going heavy on the sand eel, wraps basically, squid bluey, sand eel, squid, everything like that. Your traditional ray baits and hopefully I can pull out my first blonde. It's a two hour drive up here for me. so. It's important I maximise my fishing time. I don't want to be messing around, so yeah. I've got the sun right in my face, I'm trying to keep the camera out of it. So yeah, get this clip back on my rod rest, and then get ready to cast it out. Um, also, when you clip these on your rod rest, baits like this, hanging free, watch there's no dogs about, because they will grab hold of it. Technically, it's not your responsibility, in theory. You're fishing away, minding your own business, but if someone's dog comes running up and grabs all the bait, it's got hooks in its mouth, it's not the dog's fault either. It's down to the owners not controlling the dogs, in my opinion. So just be mindful when you've got your baits hanging, ready to cast out, there's no dogs around you on the beach. This beach is absolutely empty. And, to be honest, I'm not surprised. Um, we've walked a mile and a half to get here, and it was a hard walk, and it was downhill. Um, I'm just really unfit. We've got to walk back yet, and I'm really dreading it. I am not looking forward to it. So we have a blank. It's going to be a bad blanket. <laughs> I 
I don't mind blanking, it happens, but when you've got a mile and a half walk back uphill, it's rough as well. It's, I'm not looking forward to it at all. But I really want a blonde, so that's why I'm here. And I would really love to get one on video for you. Can't promise anything, but I am trying my best. Let's get back to it. been no fish um, may have just lost one I'm not a hundred percent I've had loads of weight bringing it in all the way and got it quite close in on the surf it just pinged off um, I'm not sure if my lines crossed and I've cut myself off I don't really know um, but unfortunate uh, it might have just been a load of weed or rubbish I really do not know I can't feel any kicking or anything um, yeah disappointed I just didn't know what was going on so just retied it and cast it back out um, on these now is one's got bluey sand deal, uh, one's got double squid and sand deal. Um, down here is one of the sort of baits I've been doing. That is bluey and squid wraps, just like that. Uh, I've done smaller ones, slightly bigger, around this size. I've been mixing all the sizes up. I've been doing lengths like that, longer ones, this length. I have been trying literally everything I can think of. I never fish this hard anymore. I've really given it everything. Um, I've tried up and over rigs, I've tried the pulley rigs, I've stuck flappers out there, I've done small baits, I've done big baits, I've done worm baits, I've done everything. It is just not happening. I have tried really, really, really hard, but we've probably still got around an hour left now, maybe. Um, I haven't looked at the time. As you can see, we're losing the light. So, just put two fresh baits out. I'm hopeful now, the light's dropping, this is when I like to fish. The light's dropping, the tide has just started to flood. Got a nice surf going. To me, this is perfect now, this screams fish, this is what you want. But will we catch? I don't know. <laughs> you can see though, catching or not, this scenery we've got here is absolutely stunning. I'll keep an eye on these rods, probably have something little to eat and a coffee. Get the head torch out and start getting ready to set up for the, the night night time i know we haven't caught anything but i hope you enjoyed the video um not all sessions go to plan there's a lot involved in this session for me and a long way to come and a lot of planning with family and everything like that is what you have to do you've just got to get out there you've just got to try and by the looks of it i failed i won't give up i'll go again and again and again seeing scenery like this is just enough so Fingers crossed we do get fish, but I'm going to end the video now. I may bring, it, bring you back if I catch anything. We'll see, but we're losing the light. It does get difficult to film in the dark. Just watching these rods just in case. I hope you enjoyed that sort of scenic start to the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.